In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a horizontal bar chart and make sure that the bar thickness will be at maximum from end to end or segment to segment here. Now, let's start to look how to do this. So let's start to look how to increase the bar thickness in a horizontal bar chart in Chart.js. So the first thing that we need to do is here is we need to go to chartjs3.com getting started this specific link which you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, just copy this chunk of code, start it here, all the way down here. Copy this. If you want to understand the border template, please watch this video here that explains it all. So then I'm going to just paste this in here, cut out the title, and then let's put that in here. Save, refresh, there we are. Let's maximize the size of the chart, say 80%. Save, refresh. So first thing what I want to do is I want to swap these Y and X axis so that the categories here will be on the Y axis. So I'm going to scroll down and to do this, we just go to in the option and then here we're going to say index axis and that will be equal to the Y and which is a string. Save, refresh. And now we have this nicely on a horizontal bar chart or on the Y axis. Next, what I want to do is I want to focus on maximizing basically our base of the bar, which is right now resting on this side here on the category, which is the base. And I want to maximize this category so that the bar here will maximize as well. And this is basically two parts. There's a bar percentage and a category percentage. And the category is basically the segment here where the base would be automatically attached to. However, the segment starts from this point all the way down to this point here. And next we have the bar and the bar category or the, no, sorry, not the bar category, but the bar percentage controls the thickness of the bar. So those two are independent, but they work together. So let's start to do one thing. For example, here, let's say here bar percentage. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say this will be 0.5. If I do this and save, refresh, you can see now the bar becomes far more narrow. What I can do, of course, is to maximize it on the category percentage. But of course, that still will be restricted to whatever the bar percentage is. However, let's start to work on this. I'm going to say here, category percentage. And by default, it's 0 0.8 or 0 0.9. And I'm going to make this 1. And 1 indicates 100%. Let's save that. Refresh. You can see it has increased its size. And now it's basically 50% white space here, up and down. And 50% re represents the bar. So if I do this now on 1, save, refresh. Now we have these very thick bars here, covering from end to end here of our category or segment. And that's basically it, how you can do this. If you want to truly understand the bar percentage and the category percentage, because we can do a lot more with it, we can stack stuff on it and, and a lot more nice stuff, then I'm going to recommend you this video here that just gives you the full foundation of what the bar percentage and the category percentage does in Chart.js.